Hi everyone, this is Ashita. Welcome to Latte Learners. Do you know what scientists do? Experiments. They do experiments on the earth, plants, and take now as an example. Scientists are researching coronavirus medicines and vaccinations. What if scientists wanted to research on how a human body would react in a microgravity zone? Well, you can't just do it on earth because earth has a lot of gravity. So for this experiment, you need to do it in space. This doesn't mean that scientists just go into space, spend one or two hours working on the experiment and come back down on Earth. That is not possible. An experiment should have a continuation for years and years. So for this, you need a laboratory and home right in space. Imagine if you wake up and stroll to your window just in time to see the bright blue horizon right underneath you. Then on the other corner, you see the bright golden looking sun. This may be written in your science fiction books, but at the ISS, this is reality. In most of my videos, I frequently uttered the word ISS. What is this ISS anyways? So in today's discussion, I am going to explain what it is. So let's get started. And before we get into the topic, please subscribe like and share the people who did all three of these thank you a lot the people who didn't please do so this iss subject is huge so i split it into some parts in today's part i'm going to just answer a couple of basic questions so shall we get into our first one let's go what is the iss first of all you need to know what the iss stands for the ISS stands for International Space Station. The ISS is the largest habitable and artificial satellite which orbits around the Earth. The ISS is a laboratory where people conduct their experiments that cannot be done anywhere else on Earth. It is also a home where scientists would live and conduct those kind of experiments. Why is the space station important to us? Well, astronauts and cosmonauts ha are planning to go to the moon and Mars. Well, those astronauts and cosmonauts that are going there have some questions in their minds that need to be clear. Here are those questions. How their bodies react in a zero gravity zone, how their blood circulates, how do their the medicines work there, can plants grow there, and even more of these kind of questions. Well, to answer these questions, those astronauts and cosmonauts cannot stay on Earth. They need to go into space. So this is why you need a laboratory in space. The next thing is that astronauts and cosmonauts, when they go into space to uh, travel to Moon or Mars, well, they might run out of fuel or even energy. So they need a stop point right in space itself. And that stop point is none other than the ISS. The ISS can do anything for the rocket, like refuel it, gives it some energy, and even fix it. The astronauts that are working at the ISS conduct experiments in various fields such as biology, human biology, meteorology, and astronomy. Now let's move on to our next question. Where is the ISS located at? The ISS is located 250 miles above the Earth. This means that it's located in Leo. Do not think Leo is somebody's name or a zodiac sign because it's not in this case. To give you some clarity, Leo stands for low Earth orbit. If the ISS is located in low Earth orbit, this means that the ISS is located in a microgravity zone. And a microgravity zone is basically a zone in space which has less gravity but enough to let astronauts float. How much does the ISS weigh? Well, the ISS weighs more than 9 million pounds. That is a lot. What is the size of the ISS? The ISS is as large as an American football field. It is also as big as a five bedroom house. Imagine that kind of big thing orbiting right around us. The ISS 
orbits the Earth every 92 minutes. This means that the astronauts that are on board the ISS get to see 15 duns and dusks. The ISS orbits the Earth in speeds of 17,500 miles per hour. The space station tends to lose altitude, which makes it fall a bit into the Earth's atmosphere. If nothing was done, the ISS would have just burned up like any other typical rocket. To prevent this, the ISS is periodically reboosted so that it stays right in space without falling into the Earth's atmosphere. Who built the ISS? The ISS was built by several countries. And here are their names. America's NASA, National Aeronautical Space Administration, CSA, Canadian Space Agency, ESA, European Space Agency, which includes 17 European nations, Roscosmos, Russian Space Agency, and lastly, JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. These are the countries that built the ISS. How do you spot the ISS? The ISS is the second most visible object that can be seen from Earth using our own naked eye. The ISS can only be seen when there is a clear sky. This means without any sunlight. In the description down below, I posted a link. Click on that link and enter your PIN code. Then NASA will give you the correct information of the time, date, duration, alignment, and other specific information on how to see the ISS from your own location. Here's how the ISS looks like. The ISS looks like an aeroplane speeding in the sky, but it doesn't have any flashes. It also looks like a shooting star. Now this is how you spot the ISS. And this is the end of today's video. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. And next video, I'm going to explain how this mighty ISS went into orbit. This is Shaita signing off.